All right, stay off grid here. How you doing? Working on the Murray Cat again, just doing some little bits and pieces. But um, I've got some other videos I've done, so I'll put those in the uh, description, or you can just search in the Facebook page Chris Steyer, and you'll find those other videos. Um, I'm currently fixing one boat up, and then I'll be uh, just fixing a few little things on my other boat. I bought a fiberglass boat, then I bought a foamy, um, just a victim of circumstances. So I bought one, and then one became available, and I bought it. Um, I haven't actually sailed for 30 years, just a little bit about me, um, I sailed when I was a teenager, probably 15 to 18, and um, I haven't sailed since and I'm just getting back into it, so these videos are as much learning for me as they are hopefully for you. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so if you bought yourself a, a, um, a new boat, or an old boat I should say, some of the things you can check out on your mast at the top, which you probably won't really... Um, think about other than until you find out that when you get your halyard stuck or something like that so um, this is missing a sheave here this one's a little bit this is what you want to look for that they're a little bit cracked there's one on my other mask that's already up that's a bit cracked off and what happens is the halyard comes through and falls off and gets stuck somewhere so you can get two new ones uh, $24 it'll cost you for the two new ones now this boat, this one doesn't have a halyard, so I've got a new halyard for it. There's two halyards there. This one has got a rope halyard, so I'm just changing it to the wire halyard. Um, there's nothing wrong with the sheaves on this mast, they look fine. No, no cracks or anything. Also the lightweight mast doesn't have a hound. The hound is this bit here where your stays connect to. This is an older style I believe, with the, just the two rivets and this has had the newer style on it which is five uh, four rivets either side so that'll be going on there and then that mast will be ready to go if i want to go use it in lighter winds all right if you are putting a new halyard in like i am you need to find the end with the little ferrule on it which is the stopper to hold the hold the sail up <clears throat> that's going to go into here eventually not at the moment so feed it through that way. Now you can put your sheaves on. Yeah, there was a little little note uh, that I didn't really understand at the time, which says how your lock may need adjusting to take the new HD wire, and I thought that meant width or something. I don't know, but. Having a look at this, that little uh, ferrule, you want to pull it through now and it's going to lock into there. So what happens is you pull your sail up and then you pull your sail down, pull the sail up with the halyard, then you pull the sail down from the bottom of the sail and then this locks into place. Well, I think that that uh, may not be pulling my sail up enough, so I'll have to check that. All right, that's how to, that's just some things to look at in your mast. I'm going to move on.